Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jordan, and you're watching Jordan Drift's YouTube channel right now. So this is my official introduction to the YouTube channel. I've posted a few videos, but here's the intro. So right behind me here, or in front of me rather, is my 2001 Solar Yellow Lexus IS300. This car is I've owned now for two and a half, almost three years. <clears throat> I'd like to think it's come pretty far. Uh, obviously, still has its flaws and its imperfections, but you know what? So will every vehicle, probably in the whole world. Um, but anyways, this is this is my Lexus. Um, the purpose of having this car is to drift it at the track. Um, obviously, a novice driver, but I've been to a couple events so far uh, this past year in 2021. Had a lot of fun, as could be expected. Um, but here we are, it's, let's see, what, what, uh, what temperature are we working with outside right now? It is five degrees out. It's very cold, but that's all right. We're having, we're having a time. Um, so I'll show you the car a little bit here. So under the hood, let me prop it. We have a 2JZ GE non-turbo engine. Um, these cars were in, or these engines were in vehicles pretty much from the late 90s to 2005, 2006. Um, a lot of the rear-wheel drive Lexuses had these motors. Very, very good, reputable motors if you do general maintenance on them. Um, I was going to say, as you can see, we got a radiator set up in this. I had this so the hood doesn't go shut, but got a little radiator set up in this just because it was getting a little warm at the track. Um, obviously, some cooling mods uh, to keep her cool at the track as well here. Um, pretty stock underneath. Other than that, I do have some headers on it. Some Megan Racing headers, and I can't see that the best. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so... I don't know, I think 90% or more of these vehicles, um, USDM, are an automatic transmission. Um, 2001 was the only year of the IS300s in the US that they did not come with a standard transmission. But, because I'm cunning, <laughs> I did manual swap this to a stock Lexus W55 transmission from the automatic. Um, I know this question gets asked a lot, but I am retaining the automatic ECU. Um, there's a device called an ATEMU that you can purchase through several different sites. And uh, essentially it fakes out the ECU so that it doesn't have shift points anymore. So you could still have all the normal function of a ECU besides it's like you're in one gear all the time. Um, anyway, so this... This uh, winter, I did put this NRG hub, quick release hub, and then also got an NRG wheel with it as well. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Probably not. Um, it's also, you know, five degrees out, so it's pretty cold. But yeah, no, I've got a little bit of a shifter. I've got this custom made from a guy that I know on Instagram. Um, he sent it out to me. Shout out to you, Porsche Tech. Um, this does actually have the Ralco. RZ short shifter. Um, when I bought my manual swap for this car, it did not come with the stock W55 shifter. It just came with this. My main complaint is it's a little chattery, but uh, it does what it needs to do. Um, so yeah, we like I said, we've been to a couple events with this car so far. Um, a lot of engine work to it. Uh, back when I got it, I did the timing originally on it. Lots of other things. Uh, <laughs> While well, we're back here, actually, this uh, late summer, me and my girlfriend actually got rear-ended. So this is a brand new rear end. Uh, the guy's insurance did have to pay for it, fully covered by him. Um, the car is not in too bad shape. Gosh, on camera you can really tell the uh, the discrepancies in the paint, being that that bumper is just resprayed. But uh, it's not too bad of a vehicle. Um, so going further, so I've had a couple of uh, tragedies on the front uh, driver's side here. Um, 
lower ball joint failure. If you know anything about Toyotas, then you'll know about that. Um, and then, I, like, I think right before the lower ball joint failure, actually, oh, uh, a deer, a doe ran into me, and you can tell, like, it didn't hit the front end, it didn't hit, this happened afterwards, but the, the deer ran into me, um, but then at one of my events, my, uh, <laughs> one of the drift events, my booster, that goes from the master to the intake to give the, the master some air, the brake master, it came off mid-drift, and it was, uh, slippery, it was in the rain, and I, I kind of hit the wall a little bit pushed in this a little bit. The fender was almost already like that, but I bent up a control arm that day and stuff, but worse things have definitely happened. Um, here, let me put this down real quick. Lots of, uh, lots of plans in the works for this vehicle this winter. Um, new rear br brakes, new hydro setup, um, I'm doing a new clutch. I'm going to retime the engine, which I've already done once. I mean, lots of things. I plan to record most of them or try to. Um, I suppose we could see if this thing's going to fire up or not. Uh, there's not too much else. It's got a, uh, it's got those Megan headers. And then I think it's called a medallion touring exhaust. I don't know too much about it. I, I picked it up from the guy that actually gave me the swap or sold me the swap rather. But, um, I don't know, it's supposed to be a fairly expensive exhaust. But, let me go ahead and try to give you a cold start up. I'm not sure if the battery's charged enough for it, but, let's see. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it literally has nothing. Alright, well, I'm going to warm my hands up a little bit, throw some jumper cables on the Lexus here, and I might hit you with the cold start, otherwise well, I'll get back to you when it's idling. Alright, we're back. <laughs> we're in my truck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you guys the cold start, because we're just waiting for the Lexus to warm up here. Um truck's just warming up too just getting the lexus charged up and off the battery like i said it's about four degrees here and i know that battery is a couple years old so i can imagine it's tired um i'm gonna warm the lexus up i usually don't drive too much in the winter but since it's dead i think we should take it for a little drive anyways um so i'll get back with you when you're driving around in the i'll get back with you when we're driving around in the lexus well that was a fail the Lexus battery is now in the truck with me. It it was done. That I've been uh, long overdue to replace that battery, to say the least. And not even the truck could jump it. So uh, I'm gonna head up to the parts store here, and we'll see if we can grab some kind of battery for it and get it fired up. All right, guys, we're back. New battery installed after what seems like an eternity later. Um. I'm gonna give you guys the cold start that I promised. Wow. Well, as you guys can see, pretty much started right up. Oh gosh, it got dark now. Pretty much started right up. Uh, it's been a couple weeks at least since I started it up. 
See, look. It's just pluming the smoke out of the, the tailpipe there, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna let it warm up, get up to a full operating temperature, check out all the fluids under the hood, and then I'll take you guys on a little bit of a road trip. All right, guys, we're finally in the Lexus. A little bit of a cruise after what seems like hours and hours. Um, got the charge battery all in it. It's driving really good for being so cold out. Um, one of my projects that I'm still working on here over this winter is getting a new clutch set up in this. Um, going to a Findanza flywheel and then a uh, Clutch Masters clutch. Right now it's just on a stock uh, stock W55, stock 2JZ, dual mass flywheel. Um, but uh, again, that will be getting changed. I'm on a Gazzetti clutch as well. But as you can see, it cruises pretty good down the road. I know it's dark. Um, it pulls pretty good too. The exhaust isn't too, too bad. Um, it's a little raspy for my liking, but it was, it was technically a free exhaust, so I can't, uh, can't complain too much here. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm just, uh, out for a little winter, winter cruise. I usually, uh, keep it parked most of the winter. Um, you know, there's so much salt around being in Minnesota. Um. But it is nice to get it out a little bit once in a while, and if I do drive it around, then within a day or two, I will wash it. Um, just to get any and all salt off of the vehicle pretty much uh, immediately. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to do a little uh, takeoff here in a second. I guess I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a little rip, and then I'm not going very far. Uh, just probably going to park it, but uh, it's good to get it out and get the, uh, get the fluids moving through it, you know what I mean? second gear so uh yeah well uh thanks for tuning into the video guys i know it was kind of all over the place for kind of an introduction video um but i hope some of you guys will come back take care